my name is Avian Mangan. I'm one of the joint European Digital Girls of the Year in the age for 11 to 14 year old category. So um, I have recently become a big sister um, to a little brother who is four months old. It's cool and all, but <laughs> now I have three brothers. If the roles were reversed and it was one boy and three girls, it would be blessed out uh, amongst women, but there's no sympathy for me. <laughs> I love where I live, which is in Hollymount, County Mayo. It looks like a postcard. It's lovely. But we have absolutely no broadband. <laughs> and whatever broadband we do get is absolutely rubbish, but we rarely get any broadband. So if I'm doing a school project, we get in the car, go to Tesco Park, car park, and I sit there on the laptop until I'm finished, using up all the free Wi-Fi. <laughs> but I've spoken out about it on local radios and also news talk. I've been giving out, out about it for a very long time. But it doesn't look like it will change any time soon, and so the rural-urban divide begins. To date, despite having no internet, I've been lucky. Thanks, Mum and Dad, for bringing me to Tesco. <laughs> and also thanks to my school, Clotons Hill. I'm very lucky, actually, because we do STEM and STEAM a lot at school, and I learnt most of my coding between school and the Coder Dojo that we had set up at school after the teachers started teaching us to code when we started getting better than them. Anyway, coding is not on the primary school curriculum, neither is engineering or technology per se, so STEM isn't a standout subject. Junior cycle coding short course, so similar to primary level, this is not available in all schools. I cannot do this course in my secondary school next year. This is kind of unfair because I'm not very good at art or music. Coding is pretty much one of the only things I'm good at. And the Leaving Cert Computer Science. Another step in the right direction, but will this be open to all students or just select areas? And if it is in our area, how will we be able to complete it? Tasks at home with sufficient broadband because most places don't have Tesco. <laughs> As Bill Gates said, life is not fair, get used to it. Some schools do it, some schools don't. Is it fair to set the divide in skills from such an early age? Now, enough giving out. I want to show you what you can do when you have the odds stacked against you. I made farmsafetyforkids.net with my friend Porrick. We won several awards for it, the big ones being the People of the Year and Pride of Ireland Awards. I've won the Air Junior Spiders three times, the first time in third class with Porrick for the farm safety one. The second time was by myself when I was in fourth class with my Raspberry Pi website. Um, the Raspberry Pi is basically a mini computer that you can get cameras for and you can set up parent traps and everything. It's brilliant. <laughs> and the third time was a website with my friend Eva when I was in fifth class. She in, was in sixth class. And we made a STEM website showing what we did in school using STEM, like when we were doing maths, um, a certain subject, we would use Scratch to draw the shapes that we were learning about and then write the angle of a square is 90 degrees and all that. So I love taking part in Tech Week at school and I've been to the national scratch finals for the last few years, winning the best educational content in the RDS two years ago. That was when I made the quiz game testing um, kids their maths and spelling and sometimes um, the English grammar. And I got to show Philip Colligan, CEO of Raspberry Pi, the website that I won the Air Junior Spiders with. And basically the website is about showing you how to set up the Raspberry Pi, where you can buy it, and then what you can do like Minecraft on it and all that. And taking part in Coder Dojo Coolest Projects is an absolute must for girls in STEM because Coder Dojo Coolest Projects takes place in the RDS in Dublin, but it's actually going worldwide now. There was one in London a few weeks ago and there's going to be one in America soon. And the coolest projects is where like, kids from Coder Dojos all over the world get to show their projects, whether it's a website, a scratch game, an app, a robot, all that. And they're trying to get a 50-50 divide between boys and girls, so it's going to be fun next year.
My love of STEM has taken me all around Ireland and even into Europe. I've been doing talks, but not as big as this one because it's pretty big. And <laughs> mostly workshops, and I've been to London, Brussels, and France. But even though the plane has the Irish rugby team on it, I haven't met them yet. <laughs> they aren't on the plane. At MozFest, um, for the last two years, I've been the youngest person to run workshops at MozFest in London. It's fun because it's a three-day festival that takes place over Halloween holidays, and there's like, show you how to use the pie, and it's got workshops for kids and adults, and then they have all these fun stuff in other levels. They have a few levels, and Youth Zone is the one where most of the kids are doing workshops. So far, last year was, there's just two girls doing workshops, me and my friend Elise, but next year, this year is going to be different, and so is next year. And I've been so lucky, thanks to Coder Dojo, I've got a chance to speak at the European Parliament about my farm safety website and had a chance to show MEPs how to code, helps them write their first lines of code on scratch, which was kind of fun. I've had a chance to attend lots of STEM and STEAM events with my school and dojo, showcasing our work and getting lots of fab ideas from other. Some of them were excited, ICT and EDU conference, SESI conference, Teach Me, and, and a few others. In December, I was so thrilled to be named Joint European Digital Girl of the Year in the 11 to 14 year old category in Brussels. On my way home, I went to Limerick to give four workshops in Mega Dojo. I got to speak at the SESI conference in March to lots of teachers and lecturers about why I love STEM in school, because at school we get to do maths and English and Irish stories on the laptops on scratch. And we recently got B-bots at school, so the infants have been using them to do their spellings instead of writing them down on a piece of paper. That was fun to watch. Recently, I helped launch this year's Coolest Project. I was thrilled to join Justina Mazzoni on Ireland AM to talk about Coolest Projects and my current project, Hospital Holly and Henry, which is a scratch interface hospital doll game that has animations to help kids not be afraid of hospitals anymore. They just hook the dolls up to Makey Makey and I'm trying to work to get them all over Ireland in hospitals because I have a meeting next week with Tony Everton to get them into bumbulances for, for the kids that are going to hospital on them. <laughs> Finally, every girl should have role models in STEM, in sport, in every walk of life. I've been very lucky to have so many role models and to have what I call real life role models. People I meet and who are just like me and what I want to be. Two years ago, I was sitting in the audience listening to the Digital Girl of the Year that year, Neve Scanlon doing her wonderful talk. And then those are the girls who won the Digital Girl of the Year last year. Justina Zoni and Nora Patton, who's um, another male woman like me, who is working to be the first Irish woman up in space. Thank you so much for listening, and to Anne and the entire Inspire Press team for having me today. As I said, two years ago, I was like you in the audience, and only dreamed of being here today. If I can do it, you can too.